This video shows how to enable the row preview sections, which is a common feature in email clients, including Microsoft Outlook. You'll learn how to manually change their height and text indents, and how to enable automatic height calculation so that the text is completely displayed without being truncated. Let's start with an application that has a grid control displaying lengthy text data in one of its columns. As you can see, the values get truncated even though the cells are wide. One way to optimize the layout is to enable row preview sections. At design time, select the grid view, then expand options view, and enable the show preview option. You'll also need to set the preview field name property to the field containing lengthy text data. When you run the application, you'll see that there's now a row preview section under each row displaying the values from the description field. Grid view properties allow you to customize the offset on the left using the preview indent property. The preview line count property allows you to display more than one line of text preview sections. Let's set it to three. You'll see that it's more than enough for certain rows and still not enough to fully display others. Even if the field value is empty for a certain row, the specified three lines of text will still be reserved. To remove unnecessary empty lines and empty preview sections, go to View Settings, Expand Options View, and enable the Auto Calc Preview Line Count property. As you can see, the preview section still displays no more than three lines of text, but they're also automatically adjusted based on their value to eliminate white space. If you set the preview line count property back to its default value of minus one, you'll cancel the three line limit and the preview section will be as high as required to fit the entire text. Now you can remove the description column from the view as its values are already displayed in preview sections. You'll have memo fields displayed completely and more space and data rows for other columns.